Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought we'd do a bit more work today on our eucalyptus bowl. Um, now, I just pre-warn you, it's quite windy out today, um, so I hope the audio is picking up okay and I suspect my little tarp here is going to be billowing around in the background, um, as it's doing now. Um, but what I thought I'd do is something a little bit different today. Um, so obviously last episode I was a little bit stumped with where to go with this. I removed a bit of the waste wood and certainly in my mind I'm now seeing a much sort of clearer path as to where I want to go with this. Um, and I thought what I would do is almost like a voiceover video. Um, so rather than me recording what I'm doing, editing it and then sitting there trying to sort of record wording over the top of that. Um, I figured what I would do is kind of just sit here now, explain to you what I'm planning on doing to this bowl, um, and then sort of insert the footage of me actually working on it afterwards over the top. Um, just thought I'd try something a bit different, don't know how it's going to turn out, um, so let me know in the comments what you think of that. Um, but really what I'm going to be doing to start off with is going back to my axe, um, doing a bit more axe work, especially on the base of the bowl, a little bit on the sides as well, um, just to sort of start smoothing it down um, and, and really just kind of getting this bowl to, to where I want it to be in terms of its depth. Um, so I'm going to be using, uh, as hopefully you can see on the screen now, my Grantsfors Swedish carving axe. Um, and really, as I say, it's just sort of smoothing down, removing the last bits of waste wood from the base of the bowl, just to try and, um, you know, get it to sort of a, a more of a bowl shape, really. Um, and that's really all I'm going to be doing with the axe work. You know, it's fairly monotonous. You've seen me do it hundreds of times before, um, but that's, that's what I'm doing with the axe work. Um, moving on from that, once I've got the bowl sort of as the depth that I want it, um, I'm going to move over to my gouge. Um, and again, you've seen me do this before, which is why I want to keep these scenes fairly brief. But basically, it's just cutting in to the size to produce that bit of an overhang at the top um, so that we can get sort of kind of a, a slightly unique bowl shape out of this. Um, now, for this, I'm using my little file. Uh, gouge, it's a number 7 with a 35mm sweep, um, lovely little all round gouge and it really just lets you cut in um, a sort of a curved shape to the side of the bowl. Um, and as I say, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm probably spending 20-30 minutes on each section here so I'm really condensing this down just so you can get a flavour of what it is I'm doing. Um, and then moving on from the gouge, what I really want to be doing is kind of refining some of the shape of this, so I'm going to use my draw knife. Um, draw knife has been working sort of semi well on this piece of wood um, because the eucalyptus is fairly, um, not so much knotty, but it's a very twisty grain. I've got to be quite careful that it doesn't catch um, and, you know, I'm not, I'm not ripping off large chunks, and I'm sure a few of those will happen, and I just need to be, you know, take some extra care and attention with it. Um, and then finally today, what I really want to be doing with this um, is getting my knife um, and just, again, refining down some of these corners. Um, so obviously we've got some fairly, um, some fairly kind of sharp corners on this, especially at the ends. Um, and what I want to do is start rounding these down slightly. I mean, there's still a lot more kind of grunt work to do with this. Um, and really, at this stage of the bowl, it's just a case of gradually refining things down. Um, and that's, that's the thing with any type of carving, really, is you will reach a stage, generally after the roughing out period, um, or even during roughing out, to be perfectly honest, where you are refining this down um, and you're taking very small cuts and removing very small pieces of material because you've kind of hit that point where you're not just trying to hack away sort of fairly large amounts of material to try and reduce the overall size. Um, now, I, my personal preference for this um, is that I really tend to... Um, not go so far with my roughing out as, as a lot of people do. Um, partly that's to do, as I say, with just personal preference. Um, but secondly, you know, I'm not a huge risk taker when it comes to my carving. And I would rather leave myself a little bit more work towards the end of things 
um, rather than have lots and lots of um, sort of roughing out work and, and rough it out really, really close to my lines. Um, a, it's less of a risk, and B, slightly more importantly, it leaves me a bit more wood to work with at the end, um, so that basically if I do decide to try and reshape things or move things around, I'm not restricted because I've limited the amount of waste, waste wood that I've had. Um, so, again, back to me now, guys. Um, so hopefully, you know, um, that was of some interest and having the sort of the, the, the video clips popping in and out um, was, was useful. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I think I'm probably going to cut here, um, basically just so that you can see the before. So this is obviously where we started today. Um, and what I'll do, I'll do a quick cut scene um, and I'll show you where we've got to um, after all that work. So there we go guys, by the magic of editing, this is the end result of today's work. And as I said at the beginning of this video, you know, we weren't expecting to see a huge change in this bowl. Um, and in that respect, we're not disappointed because it really does look very similar. Um, you may notice that it's now a little bit narrower, you know, it's not quite as high. Um, and what I'll do, if I bring it a bit closer for you, so we've done a bit of work down the sides here, you know, we're just continuing that kind of little curve that we've got going on. Uh, let me see, sort of here. It's not quite as pronounced as I want it to be yet, um, but it really is just a war of attrition in sort of smoothing it down and gouging it out. Um, you know, the base is relatively flat actually. Um, if I put it on the workbench here, there's a little bit of a wobble to it, but actually not as much as there was earlier. Um, and again, all of these sharp corners, I've just smoothed them down again for the time being. Um, I haven't quite decided where I want to go on, on the end parts here. Um, you know, the easy way to do it would be just to leave these saw cuts and have it like this. Um, I think I'm probably going to end up making more work for myself and try and sort of scallop these out slightly. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, possibly with the gouge, which seems the obvious choice. I think the adze is going to be a little bit too heavy for working on the end grain um, and much more chance that it's going to split. So maybe if I come across the grain with the gouge, um, you know, and also I can do a little bit of axe work down here by trying to cut, to cut this across that way down sort of towards the bottom but I don't know time will tell um, so that's it for this episode I mean again you know these episodes now are going to be pretty samey um, I'm just working it down and working it down um, and I think what I may do is do a bit of work in between episodes um, as I said you know the, the, the generalized shape of this bowl now is not going to change dramatically um, so I, I suspect you probably won't be too bothered if I don't show you every single little bit um, and it just means that we get a little bit closer each time that I, I do a video like this. Um, so that's it guys, I hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks guys.